I'm quickly just going to run through how to navigate the dairy expected calving profile. You go to icbf.com, then click on login. So input your, your username and your password here. So your username will be your herd number and then you just put in your password. If you don't know your password, um, you can click on forgot your password and this will help show you how to retrieve your, your password information. So click login. Okay, so once you've logged in, you want to click on view profiles and under the dairy section, you want to click on expected calving. Okay, so this brings us to the expected dairy calving profile. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of information displayed on, on this particular screen. There'll only be information on this screen if, if there is AI serves or pregnancy diagnosis recorded. So basically, if, if you know if you know AI serves recorded on the system or no scans recorded, this, this profile will be blank. So obviously with, with Herd Plus, it is a case of, I suppose, the more you the more you put into the put into the program the more you get out of it so the more data you record the more you get back out of the profiles in return so this is very much the case with the, with the expected dairy calving profile if you're using ai with a if your technician has a handheld you want to come onto the screen automatically if, if you're doing diy ai or if you're monitoring stock bull serves and and you if you record them manually they'll also come onto the profile as a result again if you're recording your the pregnancy diagnosis or scanning results they'll also come into this uh, this screen as well you know some of the basic information here is the, the jumbo or the freeze brand of the animal is displayed here and then we have contract rearing just just lets you know if the animals are, are currently out in contract rearing or if they're in the source source herd then we have lactation so just lets you know what lactation the animal is on then we have the last serve so it's the date date the animal was was served last serve the AI or, or the stock bull and then this is the last bull that that was that was used so that will be matching this last serve and the bulls the bulls main breed so again the main breed of, of the last bull used. Then the risk of dairy calving difficulty. So we can see that this is this isn't applicable for the first few cows on, on this profile, but then we can see that it is here for 2664. We can see she's zero lactation. So she's a heifer that will be coming to calves. So we can see that her predicted calving difficulty is low, which is what we want in, in heifers. So then we have displayed here, dairy heifer or cow calving difficulties. Each bull has two figures, a different figure for heifers and a different figure for cows. So these figures here at the top, all the way down to from 2289 all the way down to 2 cow 2646. They're all cow calving difficulty figures. For animal 2664, that's a heifer calving difficulty figure. Next, we have the sex columns. So if, it, if it's showing blank, it's a conventional serve. And if it's showing 90% female, that's a sex serve. Last preg scan, so that's, again, if you've inputted scanning data, that'll show up here. So there's no scanning data inputted for the first few cows. So we can see here the heifer down here, 2664. See, there was a scan there in the 10th of June, 2021. So the expected calving days, then is just when they're expected to calve. So you can see some of these are expected to calve is 10 days ago. So either they've carried a lot of days or they just haven't been registered yet. So that's going to display as a minus figure until the calves are registered. Obviously it's going to also be a minus. If they win a week over time, it's going to say minus seven, you know. So either, either means these animals have gone over time or, or they're their calves and they need to be registered. Days in milks, so this will be populated for, for all the cows, whereas it won't be populated here for, for 2664, she's a heifer. And then we have the expected EBI of, of the offspring. So for the top cow here, 2289. So we can see it's expected to 256 euros. So that's going to be the parental average figure based on today's figures between this bull, FR6475, and the cow, 2289. So that's their parental average. That's the expected EBI initially when the calf comes out. And that's the expected milk fertility index. And then we have the expected carcass weight.